An assumption, though false if persisted in, will harden into fact. This powerful statement comes from Neville Goddard, a profound philosopher, author, and metaphysical teacher. Today we delve into the depths of Goddard's teachings to unearth the one habit that has the potential to revolutionize your life. Imagine a world where your thoughts shape your reality. Welcome to the world of Neville Goddard. Stay with us as we unveil the wisdom of Neville Goddard. Who was this man who made such a bold statement about our assumptions? Neville Goddard, the name that echoes throughout the self-help and spiritual community, was a man of profound wisdom and insight, a man who dared to challenge the status quo. Born in Barbados in the early 20th century, Neville was one of the pioneers in the New Thought movement. From a young age, Neville was drawn to the metaphysical world. His thirst for knowledge led him to travel extensively, studying different philosophies and spiritual teachings. But his life took a dramatic turn when he met Abdullah, an Ethiopian rabbi and scholar of the Kabbalah in New York City. This encounter sparked a revelation in Neville, leading him to his signature philosophy, the power of imagination and assumptions. Neville's teachings revolve around the idea that we shape our reality through our thoughts and assumptions. He proposed that everything we see, touch or experience is a reflection of our inner beliefs and expectations. His major works, such as The Power of Awareness and Feeling is the Secret, delve deep into these concepts, offering practical advice on how to harness the power of the mind. His philosophy was not just theoretical. Neville lived his teachings. He believed in the transformative power of imagination so deeply that he claimed to have used it to travel physically. Though this claim was met with skepticism, it did not deter him from spreading his teachings. Neville's ideas were radical for his time, challenging conventional beliefs about reality and the self. He asserted that we are not victims of fate, but creators of our own destiny, a concept that was revolutionary in the mid 20th century. Despite facing criticism and dismissal from mainstream society, Neville remained steadfast in his beliefs. He continued to share his knowledge until his death in 1972, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire millions. Neville's teachings still resonate today, guiding many to a new understanding of life and self-realization. His philosophy empowers individuals to take control of their reality, encouraging them to dream big and believe in the power of their imagination. And Neville Goddard firmly believed in the power of imagination. This was not merely a whimsical, fanciful belief, but a deep conviction that our imagination is the key to shaping our reality. Goddard's teachings go so far as to suggest that everything we perceive in our physical world first takes root in the fertile soil of our imagination. He proposed that we are not just passive observers in the world, but active participants and creators. Our thoughts, our dreams, and our imaginations are not just idle daydreams, but the very tools with which we sculpt our lives. If you've ever wondered why some people seem to effortlessly achieve their goals while others struggle, Goddard would suggest the answer lies in the power of their imagination, but how does this work? According to Goddard, our imaginations are not confined to the boundaries of our minds, instead they ripple out into the world, attracting the circumstances, opportunities and even the people that align with our imagined reality. He asserted that by consciously directing our imagination, we can effectively choose the life we want to live. Consider this, if you can imagine yourself achieving a goal, you've already created a version of reality where that goal is accomplished. The challenge then is not to create that reality, but to align your current self with the version of you who has already achieved it. This is not a matter of wishful thinking, but a process of becoming. It's about embodying the feelings, thoughts, and actions of that successful version of you here and now. It's an empowering perspective, isn't it? Rather than waiting for the world to grant your wishes, you become the architect of your own destiny. Your dreams are not far off fantasies, but blueprints for reality. Your imagination is not a distraction, but a compass guiding you toward your desired life. Goddard's teachings challenge us to view our imaginations not as mere entertainment, but as powerful tools. They invite us to dream bigger, to think bolder, and to live a life that aligns with our deepest desires. As you can see, Goddard's teachings about imagination are far from ordinary.
They remind us that we are not mere spectators in our lives, but the directors of our own personal narratives. Another cornerstone of Goddard's teachings is the concept that our assumptions can become our reality. As we dive deeper into this idea, we find that it's not merely a suggestion or a passing thought, but a powerful principle that governs our lives. Goddard believed that our assumptions, whether they are conscious or unconscious, have the power to shape the course of our lives. He taught that the things we assume to be true about ourselves and the world around us, regardless of whether they are based in fact or fiction, have a strong influence on the reality we experience each day. Imagine for a moment that you assume you're not good at speaking in public. This assumption, whether based on past experiences or fear, will likely hold you back from pursuing opportunities that involve public speaking. You may avoid taking on leadership roles or miss out on sharing your ideas because of this unfounded assumption. Conversely, if you assume that you're an excellent public speaker, you'll likely seek out opportunities to share your thoughts and ideas. You'll put yourself out there knowing that you can handle whatever comes your way. This assumption, grounded or not in past experiences, can open doors and create a reality where you are indeed an accomplished speaker. Goddard's teachings suggest that we have the power to change our lives by simply changing our assumptions. He encourages us to question the assumptions we've made about ourselves and our capabilities and instead assume that we are capable of achieving whatever it is we desire. It's not about deluding ourselves or living in a fantasy world. Rather, it's about recognizing the power of our thoughts and using them to our advantage. It's about understanding that our assumptions, whether positive or negative, have a direct impact on our reality. Goddard's teachings challenge us to take control of our assumptions and in doing so, take control of our reality. Because our assumptions are not fixed, we have the power to change them and by extension, change our lives. So you see, our assumptions hold more power than we often realize. This is the crux of Goddard's teachings on the power of assumptions. It's a call to action, a call to question our self-imposed limitations and to assume the best for ourselves and our lives. One of Goddard's most popular teachings is the law of assumption. This principle at its core is about the power of the mind and the ability to shape our reality through our thoughts and beliefs. The law of assumption is not about wishful thinking or baseless optimism. It is a profound understanding that our assumptions or the beliefs we hold to be true directly influence and shape our experiences. It's about the conscious choice to assume the state of the desired outcome and to live in that state as if it has already materialized. Let's consider an example. Perhaps there's a job you've been dreaming about, a role that you're not quite qualified for yet. According to the law of assumption, you don't wait for external circumstances to align. Instead, you assume the state of being in that job, feeling the satisfaction, the challenges and the rewards it brings. You don't just visualize it, you feel it and live it in your mind. And this isn't just about careers. The law of assumption applies to all aspects of life. Want to improve your relationships? Assume the state of having fulfilling, harmonious connections. Looking to enhance your health? Assume the state of being vibrant and well. But how do you make this assumption? It begins with a shift in mindset. You replace doubts and fears with the certainty of your desired outcome. You change your inner dialogue, the stories you tell yourself. Instead of saying, I wish I could get that job, you say, I am in that job. And remember, it's not just about repeating affirmations. It's about truly feeling and embodying your desired state right down to your core. The more you live in the assumption, the more it permeates your thoughts, feelings, and actions. And the more it does, the more your external reality begins to align with your internal state. The law of assumption, as God had taught, has the potential to dramatically transform our lives. It's a powerful tool that allows us to move beyond our perceived limitations and create the life we truly desire. Now let's delve into the one habit that Neville Goddard believed could change your life. Goddard's teachings have always revolved around the power of the mind and how our thoughts shape our reality. Among his teachings, one habit stands out as particularly transformative. This habit is what Goddard referred to as living in the end. So what exactly does living in the end mean? 
In essence, it's the practice of envisioning yourself already living the life you desire, already having achieved your goals or manifesting your dreams. You're not just fantasizing about the future, you're mentally and emotionally dwelling in that future. This, according to Goddard, is the key to manifesting your desired reality. The significance of living in the end in Goddard's teachings cannot be understated. For him, this was not just a technique or a strategy, but rather a way of life, a new perspective on existence. It's the recognition that the external world is a reflection of your internal state. If you change your internal state, the external world will follow suit. But how can we cultivate this habit of living in the end? Firstly, you need to have a clear vision of what you desire. Whether it's a new job, a loving relationship, or a personal goal, you need to have a vivid image of it in your mind. Next, you must truly immerse yourself in this vision. Feel the emotions you would feel if you had already achieved your desire. Experience the joy, the satisfaction, the peace. This isn't about pretending or faking it. It's about truly living in that end result, in your mind and in your heart. After that, consistently maintain this mental state. This is where the real challenge lies. It's easy to slip back into old patterns of thought and behavior, but the key is consistency. The more you practice living in the end, the more natural it becomes and the more your external reality starts to align with your internal state. Finally, let go of the how. This can be the hardest part for many. We're so used to planning and controlling every aspect of our lives, but God had emphasized that the how is not our concern. Our job is to live in the end to maintain our desired state and to trust that the universe will arrange the circumstances in the perfect way. Remember, living in the end is not about denying or ignoring your current reality. It's about choosing to focus on and live in the reality you desire, allowing your current reality to be transformed by your new state of consciousness. So the habit of living in the end is not just a concept, but a way of life that God had encouraged his followers to embrace. Knowing this habit is one thing, but how do we apply it in our lives? Well, let's delve into the practicalities of living in the end, a philosophy that Neville Goddard so passionately preached. The first step is to identify your desire. What is it that you truly want? Once you've figured that out, your next step is to create a mental picture of your desired reality. It's important to make this image as vivid as possible. What does it look like? How does it feel? What are the sounds, the smells, the tastes of this reality? Once you've created this mental picture, it's time to live in it. This might seem like a daunting task, but it's simpler than you think. Spend a few minutes each day immersing yourself in this imagined reality. Close your eyes, relax, and let yourself be transported to this place where your desire has already been fulfilled. The key here is to feel the reality of your wish fulfilled in the present moment. You're not merely daydreaming about a future that might or might not happen. No, you're experiencing it right now in the present moment. This is where the power of your imagination comes into play. Remember, it's not about forcing the external world to conform to your will. It's about changing your internal state so that it aligns with your desired reality. Your external circumstances will then naturally shift to mirror this internal change. Another crucial aspect of applying this habit is persistence. Don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate changes in your external world. Keep living in the end, keep feeling the reality of your wish fulfilled, and sooner or later, you'll start to see the fruits of your labor. A word of caution though, this isn't about escaping from reality or denying your current circumstances. It's about transforming your reality from within. It's about understanding that you are the creator of your reality and that your imagination is your most powerful tool. It's a journey of self-discovery and transformation, all originating from one habit. As we come to the end of our discussion, let's recap the key points about Neville Goddard's teachings and the one habit. Neville Goddard, the influential 20th century philosopher and metaphysicist, emphasized the power of the human mind and its creative capabilities. His teachings revolve around the concept of the imaginative power that each one of us possesses. According to Goddard, our imagination isn't just a tool for daydreaming or creating art, it's a potent force that can shape our reality. This brings us to the law of assumption, a fundamental principle in Goddard's philosophy. It maintains that an assumption, even if initially false, if persisted in, will harden into fact. 
In simple terms, what we believe or assume about ourselves and our world tends to manifest in our reality. This isn't just about positive thinking or wishful thinking. It's about truly living and experiencing your desired reality in your imagination first. Now, let's talk about the one habit, living in the end. It's the practice of mentally and emotionally dwelling in the state of the fulfilled desire. It's not about merely visualizing your goal, it's about embodying the feelings, the thoughts, the attitudes and the actions of someone who has already achieved that goal. It's about assuming the state of the wish fulfilled in your imagination first, persisting in that assumption and allowing that assumption to harden into fact. So what does this all mean for you? Well, it means that you have the power to shape your reality. It means that your assumptions, beliefs, and habitual thoughts are not just idle chatter in your mind. They are potent forces shaping your world. And it means that you can start practicing the habit of living in the end right now. You can start experiencing your desired reality in your imagination first, persisting in the assumption of its reality and allowing that assumption to harden into fact. Remember, as Neville Goddard said, an assumption, though false if persisted in, will harden into fact. So, what assumptions will you persist in today? 